Take one, two. I probably shouldn't be, be doing my, my Monokuma voice while I'm trying to practice my, uh, my voice stuff. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing good. I feel like doing good. I'm a little, um, nervous to go into this one. <laughs> you know, it hasn't stopped me from trying before. Um, so, this is a game I've been trying to record for YouTube for a while, but I couldn't find the time, and if I'm being honest, that first video I edited, it was painful to watch. So you know what? I think I'm going to stream it instead. I'm going to stream, start fresh, and hopefully not embarrass myself. <laughs> um, what game are we playing? Well, we're playing Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> a particular favorite of a friend of mine who, uh... <laughs> I am a little nervous to, to embarrass myself in front of because, oh my god, that, that guy loves this game. And I... I don't think my dumb ass can do it justice, because, my god. But you know what? We're going to play anyway. We're going to give it a shot. Hopefully, I don't screw up completely. Completely. I have a file on this, on this, um, on this game, which I am going to completely wipe clean, because I, I just can't with this game. Here we go, into, into darkness and death. Oh boy. Pray for me. I don't know if it's gonna do much against Cthulhu himself, but... Oh boy. This icon appears when saving and loading is in progress, leads to an entire system. Okay. Oh, we're starting a new game. Yep, I got all the way to dark water and I got stuck. <laughs> yes, override that save. Override that embarrassing ass save. <clears throat> heat from fire, fire from heat. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He's now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his troper, torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. What does that mean, Torper? I gotta look that up. I'm legitimately curious. Torpor. Torpor. Okay, so I did say it right. A state of physical or mental inactivity. Oh. That makes sense. Alright, let's enter the madness. They thought, yeah, man, it is mercy. And the gods pity the man who is Callius. God damn it. There goes the joke. I probably sent it to the wrong pitch as well, which does not help things. Hi. Yeah, I've seen this before. What of it? All right, Piercy, get, get the guts and blood off your eyes. We got work to do. Piercy, come on. <sighs> Back into the madness. I miss this place. Nice and gloomy outside. You know, I... Do this. I still can't figure out if the fucking sensitivity is like to my preferences or not. Oh yeah, I missed this. Hold on. Let me get let me get the thing real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Thank you. Now I'll take these. Thank you. And now I'm not gonna go to that door just yet. I'm gonna go over here. Cause I actually forgot about this door last time I played this. I neglected to mention that those things do not break. In my wake, hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Oh, it didn't matter. 
Oops. <laughs> well, I mean, it was worth a shot, at least. I gotta fix this sensitivity. Oh my god, this sensitivity fucking sucks. Control. Camera sensitivity. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be right back. And back. Sorry, my parents. My mom was ordering a pizza, and she wanted to know what pizza I could. I wanted. I could hear them outside, like <laughs> calling for me, so I had to get going. What a offering. I mean, in their defense, you kind of drained them of the offerings they used to give you. So, can you really blame them? Don't fight. You have been chosen. I don't care if I've been chosen. Fate can suck my dick. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Behold. I shall behold. Oh shit! Everything has already been written. Hold on. Oh shit. Uh, oh god. Uh. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Uh. I just realized the game was very loud. Yeah, that's good. I think is it good? Can you not hear the game? Oh. Nobody saves the world is on sale. Cool. I hate this music. I'm turning that shit off. Thank you. Alright, let's see. The doctor can well repeat to me I'm no longer needed my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I'll probably not wake up. Despite their treatment, I get, again hear voices in my dreams. But they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling to me? Cthulhu! Cthulhu! I'm telling you, man, it's Cthulhu! I ah, shut your trap. I still take these things. Because they help you sleep. Whatever, man. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Yikes. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Heh. <laughs> what a prick. The man, I mean, not Natural the woman. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Nothing that can help us in this case. And uh, let's not drink. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh, I just read this. All right, all right. I'm here. I'm here. Shut up. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. 
Ah, uh, yeah, this is the one that, this is the part where I took fucking forever on, and I'm, I'm be Eloquence, that was the one. Oh my god. Um, I still don't know what the fuck I should, like, allegate any of my points to, because if I'm being perfectly honest, <laughs> it's like I might... I'm always very picky about this, and this is one of those games where if I don't have enough points for one thing, I won't be able to do it take that path, and I want to do everything! It sucks! But, you know... Whatever. Uh, I really don't wanna... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. These all seem very important. I don't want to get rid of them. For eloquence and maybe... Yeah, let's go with psychology. We'll go with eloquence and psychology. I don't know. You know... Give me a few minutes, or maybe like half an hour. You know what? I'm going with this. I don't know how fucking important any of this shit is, but I'll go with it. You may not. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, well, that was a lovely conversation. I'm coming. <laughs> hey, old man who lost his daughter. How's it going? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Really? You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Oh, it's Sarah, because you are. my little girl. She is dead. Of Even course she is. Know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The mm -hmm. police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, 
and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Mm -hmm. Tell mm. me all the assumptions that come to mind. I assume it's a painting. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. All right, cool. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Fantastic. All right, let's look at this shit. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather Ship. thin. Yeah, cool. Great. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out parts of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawking's mental frailty. Or frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. How peaceful. Cool. Oh boy. Alright, that's cool. By the way, what happened to that case? Oh, uh, yeah, sanity. Hmm. Is investigation? All right. All right, time to embarrass myself. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So... Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Then you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. All right. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Well. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? Could you it's speak louder, Erhan? People are watching. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. All right, I that's all the information we need. Understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. <laughs> Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. 
Are you talking about me in this situation? Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Yeah. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but you, when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. <laughs> Sucker. Darkwater is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. The island kind of looks like a monster, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature who still ornates the walls of a long abandoned cave. Uh, abandoned caves, uh, plural. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I don't know if it's because of hidden objects or what, but I remember there was like a book the here. The agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Yeah. There it is. Learning of medicine. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Oh, excuse me. Cool. So it's the equivalent of one CP per book. <sighs> Great. I used to be an avid reader. I'm still trying to get into reading myself, personally. Making sure there's nothing else that I need to do. Anything under the desk? No, just a bunch of whiskey. Um, oh. I should get rid of all this stuff. Why? What is this? <clears throat> what could this possibly be? Prohibition. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> well, let's get moving, I guess. I'm really scared that I'm missing something. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. But there's literally nothing here. Let's go, I guess. I gained a CP, cool. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused a fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address a warehouse set on the docks of the islands of Darkwater. The place seems to be star a starting point for Pierce's investigations. You don't say. Well, let me check some things real quick. All right, nothing. Let's go. Focus Home Interactive presents... A game by Cyanide Studio. Still trying to get the vocal exercise thing used to, so I'm sorry. Well, almost. 
goes there. Nice. done. <clears throat> Skyla. Why does that ship sound familiar? Alright. I swear this the Scarlet sounds familiar. I think I heard about it in another like playthrough. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Thanks, so, Captain. What wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story. All prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, You'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Cool. Do I really have to talk to Fitzroy right now? Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You seen how old this thing is? If you force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know, or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The cops, they shysters. Yeah, that... <laughs> you clearly had no idea what was going on. All right. Let's go. Nice to meet you too, sir. Wait for it. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm guessing apologies don't work for you either. Oh God, you are not a good. You're not a looker, are you? I mean, I'm not either. But Christ, you know what? I have my eloquency set to professional. Please do something. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. 
I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. Nice. Hell yeah! I didn't embarrass myself this time. God damn. No probation around here? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Mm, I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Fair enough. Um... So... The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Hmm. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Hmm. Uh, is this a good idea? Would that prefer... Would that... Oh, no. I'm a little scared to try this out. Don't screw you me! You dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. Don't screw me. <laughs> You're not a PI for nothing. Okay. I don't know what it's worth, though. But Mrs. Hawkins, she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. That's, that's I've enough. I've got what I need. Anything else? Uh... I think I'm good here for now. That'll be all for now. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't embarrass myself this time. Last time I wasted all my fucking, like, CP on other stuff like medication and whatnot, and I, f and I failed that horribly. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he think? He laughed. My God. Hmm. Interesting. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. So I've heard. The Shanty, 21st of May, 1847. Miraculous catch! The Skyler returns to port... <laughs> returns to port to save dark water from famine. We had to give... We had given up hope. The crew of Sky... Well, or what remains of it. Return... Yeah, that's why I heard the name before. Returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship onto the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the cetacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and parts of that were hanging over the side of the ship. <clears throat> the surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritionist benefits. There's no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all of the staff on the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and 
free tasting event. Come with your family or friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. What the hell could people have for... What what purpose could people have for with a bottle of oil? Interesting. Well, oh, that's locked. And I'm kind of hesitant to talk to her, if I'm being perfectly honest. She scares me. And also, I don't want to get kicked in the balls. Because apparently that's a thing you can do. If you fail every other option, from what I've heard, you get kicked square in the nuts. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. And I'd rather not get kicked in the nuts today. Hold on. Alright. There we go. Had to do that freaking reset phrase every you now and then just so I can, like, you know, not sound vibrating or, or just unnatural. It's weird. Oh. Hey, Captain. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Cultists, I'm calling it. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long time. Yikes. Medicine! Please tell me I got- Oh, it's right there! Fuck's sake! You know what? It's fine. He's killing sea animals and turning it with the smelly knickknacks! This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Ah, it's Fada. What a macabre souvenir. It's pronounced macabre. Come on, man. Get it right. You're a detective for Pete's sake. All right. Let's see. Um... The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. It's pronounced the Scylla? Christ. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. Maybe I shouldn't bring that up. I feel like... I feel like I might provoke something if I do that. I completely missed that in my first playthrough. Hey, Captain. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, what I the hell go wharf that rats? Far. I'm just the last serving captain on dock water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Hmm. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I mean, possibly. I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Mm. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Hmm. Understood. 
You know who the building belongs to, don't you? What was that noise? Don't, don't do this shit to meme game. Come on. I hate this. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the Stranded Whale. Oh yeah, I read that. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. And I took you for a detective. Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on dark water, and already you think like a sailor. Well, damn. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask about Cat. I really... I don't I wanna... I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh, that's cool. I shall be on my way. That must be the so macabre souvenir. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention Cat. I don't wanna... I don't wanna provoke him. There's actually a group I meant to talk to earlier. Yeah, there they are. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What is this song? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Uh, where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bet it was. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Curious. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking, Al, you see? It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. Hmm. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. 
So long. Later, guys. That was fun. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Huh. That sounds eerily similar to the dreams that I've been having. Oh well. Now this, this is the one that truly tripped me up. There's like this little section here, um... Hold on, let me find it real quick. Yeah, here it is. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. For some godforsaken reason. Ah, lever to a mechanism. A handle. It must come from these old winches. Then, for some godforsaken reason, I go up here. I put the thing. I on could use this old winch to lift the grating. Yeah, you could. Not the handle. And then it doesn't give you an option. It just doesn't give you an option. Go down, please. Thank you. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Ugh. I don't want to talk about it. Ooh. A ratchet device. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. So... I was supposed to put the ratchet on first, wasn't I? Nope, nope, that still does not work. There's gotta be something else I can add, right? Anything? Apparently there's something here. The light, the light does not make it easy to see what's in the dark. Ooh! Aha! It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Can I put away the, uh, the lighter? Oh, this is a strength test. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this one. Can I, can I put this thing away, please? I don't need it anymore. We're good. Pierce, we're not smoking anything. Put that thing away. Thank you. So it's middle mouse button. To, I, I didn't even know that thing was there. <laughs> like, I completely missed this when I first played that bit. Played it. On, for that video, but holy shit. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Okay. Make sure these goons don't I accidentally got this one when I first played. Oh, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Yep. That's the thing. Something about a stiletto. Ah, oh boy. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck you and your omen. I believe cat's in here, too. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Hi there. What you looking at, stranger? 
Uh, just you. Do you really put them away? Nothing at all. I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Um, alright. Cool. Thanks. Get away from her. Ugh. Right, you know what? You're back again. There's what can I do for you? There's something I want to ask you. Who is I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okay. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. You got it. And now I'm going to try something I was a little too scared to try earlier. And I'm praying that this works. Guy. No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Oh god. <laughs> I'm a little scared to try this. I've got to get inside. I'll be right out. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two. I'll have to look for another. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Uh, I bid you. J yeah, I'll be right back. I, I can't think, get. I think dinner's here. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Turns out, yeah, um, dinner was here. Rid of those two. I'll have to look for another way. Well, I know one way. Hello there. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. Hey, Orc. What brings you How's it to going? Dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. <laughs> scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing cool. at all. Mm. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. I'll be back. Take your time. We're going nowhere. Hell yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> now that I didn't embarrass myself in front of Fitzroy and this drunken, this abandoned... Why is this place called again? The Stranded Whale. I could probably actually do something. Hey, buddy, friend, pal. Again. Roy. What can I get you? I'd like a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> That's good. Um, there we go. This will affect your destiny. Did I fuck up? Did I screw up? <sighs> no. Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. How much for a bottle of whiskey? Five dollars. I guess I'm not desperate. I'm not judging you. Either way, it gives me what I want. For now. I I fucking screwed up with the with that whiskey bottle, didn't I? Did I screw up? I feel like I did just, just I it's a sign. There's something coming. This will affect your doesn't come on, man. Hello. So have you got what we asked you for? Yep, 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 yep. Look what I've got. You're a good guy, you. Follow me. All right, coming. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? Uh, sorry. What's I going? For your sake that I didn't hear. No, no. It's not what you think. It's just that um, you sell your stuff at too high a price. You got it coming. Oh, I know where I'm going. Later, gentlemen. Let's see. Oh, no. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. No, wait, no, wait, no, why didn't, no, please, don't, don't, please. Shoot. 
I'll have to find another way to get in. Oh, no. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Well, God. well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. I... You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Oh, hey, cat. How's it going? Uh... <laughs> Welcome to your luck. Oh, great. Cool. Glad we're on the same page, Orc. Oh, God. I think I know what... I don't know. I don't know. What do I say here? She's staring into my soul. Let's not say anything. Um, hello? Hello? Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Wait, what? Why is there ticking? Why is there ticking? Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Why was there maybe. ticking? Or maybe not. No! Up oh, there it is. <laughs> Fucking Get this course. out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh. Oh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm gonna have to deal with her. No, please. If my tongue got ahead of my senses or something like that. Hey, tell him to calm down. Alright, dude, it's over. It was just a little joke. Um, did I break the game? I think I might have broken the game. Where do you think you're going? You see me clicking? Hold on. You see me clicking? It is literally doing nothing. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? Okay, I guess I had to press E. Why would e. I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh yeah. You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. <sighs> Thank you for your valuable help. Okay, sir. Yeah, fucking dick. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> This actually sucks so fucking much. Alright. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think that would work. Well, let's go in. <coughs> ah. <coughs> nope, 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 nope. Get out, 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 get out. Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> I get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. 
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Okay, so what was the point of coming down here then? <coughs> okay, that's collapsed. That's flooded. I got a feeling this was a goddamn mistake. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What the f was that? Hello? Uh, excuse me? Why is my left click working anymore? I can only use E. I... Yeah, what the shit? What was that? Also, why isn't left click working anymore? Like, left click is just not working. I don't understand what's going on. This is, this is weird. I... Alright, case is all. These two things of medicine. Trying to... There we go. What is this? The submerged city. While investigating the Hawkins warehouse, Pierce entered a partially submerged tunnel and ran under the docks. There's something... Then there, so they took hold of his arm and tried to drag him beneath the surface. Drowning, the detective caught a glimpse of a human and animal bodies, as well as an underground city. Pierce managed to make it back into the surface to discover that rather than tentacles, it was seaweed that had wrapped himself around his arm. The vision, nevertheless, disturbed him it's by its clarity and its violence. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't be down here. Christ. This game's gonna be the death of me. I don't know anything about the occult. I don't have that. This is primitive. God fucking damn it. Alright, well... I'm here. So what now? Ugh, oh, this place stinks. Cool. Great. Very, very fucking important. Hmm. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Well, let's see. I 
can't see. Can't see a damn thing. What is that? Should I jump? This feels like a point of no return. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. Reconstruction? What? The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Yikes. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Hmm. Must be one of the Hawkins. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? No idea. Anything else? Oh, that. I can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Pelisian. Cool. Is there anything else I need to check? Oh, I hate this music. I hate this music. Talk to Bradley. Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move. Hi there. The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. Oh boy. Someone else is inherited in the Hawkins. The case is far from being wound up. I don't know. I don't know. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait. I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Oh, hey, cat. Again. What's up, cat? This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. I'm sure we Is will, man. Barn, this mansion. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Wow. That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, if it was that simple... <sighs> it's 
Sometimes. Just sometimes. I want to go back in time and kick myself in the balls. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned. Revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partially charred painting. Interrupted on his searching by Officer Bradley. Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. Fucking somehow. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Oh, there is someone there. Ellie, no well, light. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Ellie, no like. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <sighs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared. If it's going to oh, left click finally works. Wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? How ironic, considering the waste of... <clears throat> considering the state of the police nowadays. I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Well, normally I would, but... My dumbass forgot to add that... Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. You know what? Sure, I'll accept. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Uh, just give me a second. Ugh.
We'll go investigation this round. No, I don't want to quit. I. What do you mean quit? God, this place is creepy. So, officer. <clears throat> Had any trouble aside from that killer whale? Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to make conversation. This place gives me the creeps. Where the hell are we going? What? 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 Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he devastated. Let's go to the mansion. I uh, just thought Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? Poor kid. I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord. Have pity on this poor family. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Why do I get the feeling that that's connected somehow? This hick cop likes order and justice. He's not... He's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth of the Hawkins case. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He can help me in my investigation. Cool. The Hawkins mansion is perched at the top of a steep cliff. The abandoned garden harbors the graves of the Hawkins family, and, the old, and only the old caretaker, Silas Winchester, still roams this bleak spot. Ooh, excuse me. He protects it fiercely and still summons flowers. And still puts flowers on the graves of his old masters. The gloomy place. The caretaker takes great care of these graves. And yet he allowed this to happen? I get the feeling that some there's something more going on here than meets the eye. Um, if I had two more CP, that'd be fucking fantastic. Poor kid. Alright. Ready to go? Anything missing? The caretaker takes great care of these graves. Nope, nothing. You ready? Is... is he not gonna come with us? Should I wait for him? I laid... I laid me down and slept. I awakened, for the Lord sustained me. Mm. Jesus. I hit... I I laid me down and slept. It's the same thing. Oh, 
There we go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Maybe they had ref a refurb for bit for they refurbished. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, where'd he go? Hey, bud, you ready? Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I'm really scared to go through towards that. I'm really scared to go towards that mansion without him. Well, I guess I have to. Oh, game saved. What? 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 Why? Why the musical sting? Why the musical sting? Hello? God, this lighter is useless. This lighter is goddamn useless. I know I meant. The atmosphere is pretty good. And that's kind of what scares me because... I hear shit like that. This entrance is still in use. Wait, what? Hey, wait, hey, I didn't want it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, boy. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Uh, you're... Nah. Put down the axe, and I'll forget that you threatened a cop. Show your badge, cop, and then we can talk. You don't need to see my badge. You're a bad liar, city boy. For the last time, tell me why you're here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Cool. Nice to meet you. That was fucking great. Okay. Silas Winchester, the old caretaker of the Hawkins family, 
Silas Winchester still watches over the family graveyard and the burned out mansion. Devoted to Charles Hawkins, whom he all but raised, he also was. Oh, excuse me. He also has a great respect for the memory of Sarah Hawkins and her child, Simon. His long months of solitude in the abandoned property have gave, made him very distrustful. Silas still puts flowers on the graves of Charles, Sarah, and Simon. Great. He also threatens anyone who dares to even look at him funny. Well, I think that's his home. Fantastic. This game is just great. Piers, shall we enter? Yep. Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. All right. I feel like I'm making a mistake here. Just gonna leave him to his uh, thing. Piers, shall we enter? Just a minute. Just a minute. I'm just, like super paranoid that I'm gonna miss something. This gate is locked. Of course it is. Anything? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Anyone else? That was a leaf. Poor wretch. Seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. What is this? This was a terrible idea. What's with these lanterns? Locked. All right. Well, that was that was a mistake. Let's enter the mansion. Actually, let me check. Let me check anything. Any? I do not have any CP. All right. All right. Let's do it. Piers, shall we enter? Yeah. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Pierce and Officer Bradley explore the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by Silas Winchester, the old caretaker. Still faithful to his employee, employers, he keeps watch of the old place, armed with his axe. Pierce and Bradley, he manage to calm him down and finally get a hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building, looking for the scene of the fire. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Probably no one good.
Nope. All right. I thought that I could investigate. The last the supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Well, reconstruction, I guess. What kind of meat is this? It looks like squid. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Yikes. I imagine Mr. Hawkins here saw that and was veritably pissed. Prick. Seriously, doesn't that kind of look like a squid? It looks like a fucking squid. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Right. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. God, the atmosphere here is scary. Jesus. Let's see if Silas I can find managed something to bring the cops fire missed. Control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. All right, well, let's see. Huh? They had a fight. Why? Oh. You're kidding me with this, right? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Anything else? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? This is not comforting in the slightest. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Fuck. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Um, did someone escape the fire? Did it stop at the time of the fire? That's everything. Okay, I'm going to guess that's everything. Right? Hello? Um, what do I do now? Hello? Well, if I can't leave, then what do I do? Oh. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Well. Oh, jeez. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone well, you and Alan Wesley find everything. Yeah, I, I, I find, I realize that. Sorry, York. A desperate attempt to flee. Lucky, lucky, what do we have here? And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? Uh, 
I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. All right. Ooh, I gain an ICP. Nice. Finally. Oh. Oh. Okay. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. No problem, my good man. No problem. History of medicine, yes! This collection of medical knowledge and health practices in the 18th century actually only covers their, the so-called civilized countries. It does not deal with the influence of holistic medicines or medicines from the continents considered inferior. And I do believe I finally, oh, come on! Really? It's right the hell there, man. Contradicting the police report, the Hawkins drawing room tells a totally different version of the fire that cleaned the whole family. Beginning in the presence of a handprint that throws up the possibility of a survivor, the bodies of Charles and Sarah Hawkins left no mark on the floor, nor, to that matter, in the drawing room. Contrary to that of the child, still visible close to the fireplace, the same goes for the glass shards on the floor. A close inspection reveals the presence of blood on several of them. On the wall, the very clear mark left by the painting found in the Hawkins warehouse confirms that the Hawkins case could be much more than a domestic accident. You're telling me. What the? Wait. Give me a second. Fuck. There we go. An achievement. These bandages are covered. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the bloodstains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Hmm. Interesting. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Actually, did I get everything? No, I did not. Hmm. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. God damn, that's old. Whoa. What? 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 This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Hmm. Yeah, I just meant it being no worry. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. A copy of the novel Moby Dick by Herman Melville, a classic, especially for a family of ship owners. Hmm, interesting. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. I didn't know you, your hands were so sensitive. A book to yours. on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Very interesting. What's this? He, the human body, a comparative analysis. 
Did I finally... Are you... <sighs> That's just... This place was falling apart long before the fire. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Interesting. Well, all right. Come on. Let's go. Guess I just keep going. Keep an eye out for any books and the like. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Hmm. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Yep. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Hmm. A rare edition of Jewel Verne, Jewel Verne's novel. Because apparently that's a thing. Alright. There's gotta be something else I can interact with, right? Already interacted with that. And trying to turn that on. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wellard. Okay, then. What could Sarah have done to cause such a commotion? Oh, that's... That's jump scare. That's the jump scare waiting to happen. I'm not going down there. Not yet, anyways. Can I just jump down here? Seems safer than going and over there. Like, that just screams, I'm, you're going to die if you go down here. And I'm not having any of it. No way, no goddamn how am I having any of it. I have to go down there, don't I? <sighs> Don't give me that ambiance. Don't you dare give me that ambiance, dick. All right. Something. I heard 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 footsteps. 
I heard footsteps. What was that? Orc? Orc, are you there? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go down there. Wait, do these? Hold on. No, they had... <sighs> You're not helping, Orc! Orc, come on, be honest with me, is there is, is something bad gonna happen if I go down there? Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I really don't want to. You can't make me. I'm not going down there. I'm gonna talk to the to the to the officer again. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. I definitely heard something, but... Uh... I really don't want to go in there. This place was falling apart long before the fire. You're really not going to give me anything other than that smiley face, are you, Orc? A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Uh, um, fine. Fine. I hate this! I don't, I don't want to go down there! Uh... Hello, Mr. Rat. Hello. Locked. Locked. Cool. Great. Uh... Ah! Uh, more dark void. More dark void. Ah. <laughs> oh, hidden objects. There's hidden objects here, apparently. Ah. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. What will her room reveal about her? Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Barbiturate. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. They act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that I know something. I hate it. I hate it so much. This sucks. This actually sucks. I'm not investigating that. I don't have... I don't have the, the luck necessary to fix that. Hey, this is the kids' the boys room. room. Oh. oh. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Simon's private journal. He seems worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seems to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of the argument? But she's still sad. I hate it when she is sad. Is she angry with father? Father scolded me. He shouted bad and wanted to spank me. Mother did not want him to. He was always angry. Why? There are a lot of strong things in his office. Strange things in his office. I just wanted to look at them. I built a castle for Mother and me. I told her to come and hide with me. She's always painting monsters. I don't like her monsters. I have bad dreams and they come into my bedroom and look at me. I cry and Mother shouts at me. And father says that I must take tablets. They're not nice. I don't want to take them. 
Mother is screaming again. She cries a lot. Father is sad, too, and angry with Mother. I don't know why she... And that's... Why it out. Mother is sad again. At lunch, we ate in silence. It was strange. Father said, finish your dishes. We always eat the same thing. It looks like rotten fish, and it smells very bad. Why does he always want to eat that? It's not very nice. If we had to eat again tonight, I will throw my plate on the floor and smash it. Oh, so that was the kid's fault? I thought it was an accident. What was going through that boy's mind? I swear to God. Jump scare. I swear to God, that's gonna happen one day, and that's gonna lead to a jump scare. Okay, there's something hidden in here somewhere. Aha! The key that opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office was concealed? The fuck was that noise? Please tell me this is the key to our office. No, 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 Perfect. I know I have to reconstruct the kid's room. I just wanted to explore a bit because I thought that would be like story progression, you know? Dude, I thought, I thought, I was so scared. I had the key, I thought. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Like, I it had the, the last key. the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Like, I had the key to her office, and that seemed like a, a thing that led to her office, so I figured... Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting an increasing number of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last one's so somber and strange, moving as a no, no other painting has have been, are selling at premium price. Your percentage of these must, most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display it into the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Who the fuck is Maximilian L? Oh, that was it. Really? That was it? Seriously? That- Okay, so I just got extremely lucky then. Holy shit. If I had known that- Okay. Okay. Alright. Cool. Fantastic. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Let me check the clues real quick. The Shambler of for FS for gift. Do you think that this was like the uh the what's it called? You know, I'll keep I'll deconstruct this kid's room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? I don't know, man. What's this? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Did not notice the wall claws. Simon's right troubles there. went beyond family problems. The cloth. That kid saw something. The something terrified him. The claws on the, uh, in the office? Yeah, I noticed them. 
I just didn't think, I just thought, I didn't know. Oh wait, on the, yeah, I see. Let me check. Where are they? Yeah, these, right here. No, those are blood stains. What? These? Yeah, I think those are it, yeah. I'm kind of scared to, like, check that just in case, like, something important is, is locked behind that. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Ceremonial circle. If the creature is not yet anchored in our dimension, an expulsion ritual might work. As long as the person performing it makes sure that he integrates the elder son among the glyphs that make up the ceremonial circle. Be careful, though, because the works that describe this creation of such circles are not all of proven reliability. Hmm. The little boy's room was abandoned. An abandoned book on the bed and toys scattered on the ground talk about the everyday life of a normal family, but the disturbing drawings and the sleeping pills raise suspicions that even Simon Hawkins may have been suffering from mental illness. What? Is the boy able to see things like her mother pretended to be? Hmm. Weird. Okay, see, I have not found any books that increase, like, occultism. And I swear to... Bradley? Is that you? Nope, nope. Nope, nope. I'm closing that. And I'm closing that. I'm just gonna stay in my little ritual circle and just, like, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna stay here. Be a little sacrifice, you know. You know, nothing... Nothing bad could happen here if I just stay in my circle. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing bad can happen if I if I don't leave the circle. Nothing bad at all. Okay. Oh my god. All right. All right. Uh, I'm not going up there, man. I'm not going up there. I'm gonna go see if Bradley's back down there. Bradley? Bradley's gone. Don't oh, give me that face! Please! <laughs> Bradley? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. You're not gonna question... Pierce, really? If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. And also, th could you explain who the fuck is up there? Are you, Pierce? Are you not going to question the fact that but Bradley is clearly down here? Oh my god! Oh, there's something. There's something hidden here. Okay, maybe it was a good thing I didn't investigate just yet. Mm. Holy shit. I would have missed this if I hadn't checked on Bradley. Aha! The crowbar found in the Hawkins Manor. It probably belongs to the caretaker. Could prove useful. Indeed. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. I'll just look around the house. I mean, better safe than sorry, right? This door is locked. I can tell. <clears throat> heat from fire, fire from heat. Okay then. So I guess I gotta keep moving then.
Dude, I'm I'm so screwed. Hello? Who's up there? Who wants to meet me? And hopefully... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want... I don't... I don't... I don't want to. I can't. I legitimately can't. My fucking phone scared me. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I, don't wanna, I really don't want to. Is anyone there? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, lantern. A great time to finally have a goddamn lantern. Is that really gonna help you against the horrors that hide in the shadows? Hello? Pierce? Pierce? Are you gonna talk to me, Pierce? Come on, man. Oh, Hawkins. Excuse me, what the fuck? Is that a pic- is that a portrait of Pierce? Or is that Mr. Hawkins? You fucking hell! You! Stop! Hey, get back here! Bradley, did you see which way he went? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Well, now I have lantern. I'll cover you. You may switch from one light source to another. Oh, okay. Cool, great, cool, fantastic. I can save. I can save. This door was closed earlier. Also to help, that wasn't the father. Okay. So the, on the painting or in the hoods? I'm pretty sure that was Hawkins. Where did he go? No, not Hawkins. Well, I know what I'm doing at these points. Oh, no, 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 I don't want it. I keep forgetting you have to automat, you have to, s to save first. It looks like an old seaway map. Somebody has added coordinates to the old seaway map. I made the journey. Okay, so it was fucking Pierce then, wasn't it? That's you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Oil refilled. Oh, cool. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. In this photograph, Charles Hawkins and Captain Fitzroy are posing in with a third man. It seemed close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. A map of dark water is drawn by Charles Hawkins. Some places have been circled. Why, though? The Scylla. <clears throat> it's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Force the gear, do nothing. Use this, the crowbar. I should be able to force the gears. Okay. As if the bookcase has been moved several well done, times. Pierce. Interesting. I guess it's a good thing I found that that crowbar then, huh? Something like this came from a log. Okay. Monday, 24th, May 1847. 42 North, 70 West. Darkwater Island. 
We sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday 30th, May 1847, 47 North, 55 West. I preferred it when the whales disappeared without traces. I didn't know the crowbar was a thing. I had to do the puzzle. What puzzle? There was a puzzle? These carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that this was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Tuesday, fir Tuesday 1st of June, 1847. 49 North, 61 West. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts, and to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but the loneliness of the hold. I'm scared. Oh, that explains it. Friday 4th of June, 1847. 57 North, 51 West. We have sighted a huge whale in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Wednesday 23rd, June, 1847. 33 North, 53 West. We caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid up eyes upon. It will go into glory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Tuesday, 29th June of June, 1847. Dark water. We have, it, we have beaten the Orpheus, returned it with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Well, if only I... They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. So that's how I get, like, occult stuff. Okay, interesting. So... The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. What the heck would I have done involving, like, those coordinates? Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Yeah, it is. But still... What I had used the coordinates for... Well, I guess there's nowhere else to go but forward. Oh, well, I wish I investigated that first. Oh, cool. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Badley, now along the trail of a survivor, had undertaken the search of the place, looking for proof when a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting. Detective and off police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley entered the tunnel under the mansion. The secret passage, under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah, and he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look. Three seats. Someone's been here recently. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, reconstruct this scene. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? I imagine the captain and that third person we mentioned we saw in the photo. That's my guess, anyways. I'm not fucking with that. Can I not fuck with that? I really don't want to fuck with that. What is this mask supposed to represent? You know what? I think I don't have a choice. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. Okay, then. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Well, I found that. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. 
Could this be related to her death? Well, goddamn, that was super lucky. Mansion, tunnels under the mansion. Got a lantern. Small polished stones decorated with Celtic ruins. Probably used for divination rituals. They're mostly found in Europe. Okay. Interesting. I imagine it was like these two that were like with Mr. Hawkins. I couldn't imagine anyone else, you know? Okay, I see. So this is a much more reliable source of light, but it runs out if you use it for too long. Interesting. And the and the lighter is a smaller source of light, but it's much more reliable because you can because you can use it infinitely. So you get punished for using the lantern too much by force have being forced to use this dinky ass lighter. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. That's a cool mechanic. Pierce, where are you going? I can't keep up with you in this darkness. Are you scared? I want to see how far these steps go. Who's talking about being scared? I'll wait for you by the door. Something tells me if I go down there, I am screwed. I don't think I want to go down here. Nope, 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 nope. I... I have common sense, thank you very much. Okay, never mind. I guess I have no choice but to go down there. Oh, I hate this game. Who's texting me? Wait, what? No, no, go back, go back, go, go back, Pierce. What the hell? This is creepy, man. I hate this. What is this? Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Let's touch it. I want to touch it. Can I touch it? Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. I want to touch it, though. Come on, Pierce. Have a little fun, why don't you? These paintings must be several centuries old. Damn. The tribe of men wor worshippers of the sea and its benefits landed on the shores of an island surrounded by a dark water. They were discovered by the creatures some called the Devourer of Whales. For years the creature hunted them down into their dreams until their weakness, weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounding the island and never came back. Weird. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? I have a feeling they're a sacrifice. If I had to wager a guess, anyways. Oh, 
Holy shit, it's more of that of that stuff. The hell? I'm just gonna go back. Can I go back? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. You know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna go back. I don't need to go down there that badly. Put the goddamn lantern away. I can't go back. Fuck. Well, I guess I gotta jump. Oh, there he is. There you are again. Well done, Pierce. And it looks like you found our fugitive. This door is securely shut. I'll look for another passage. It's an underground cave. We can advance this side. Yeah, I can see that. You, uh... Please excuse me, but given your condition, I'll stick to my idea. I'm not cut out for this kind of acrobatics. All right. Look for another entrance. I'll try to catch up with our man. You do that, and while you do that, I'm going to... Boom. Finally. God! Wrong button again. Time has weakened these structures. Oh, boy. Why do I get the feeling that's gonna come back and bite me? This oil again. What is it used for? Well, this is ominous. Too ominous for my pay grade. I'm getting out of here. I don't have time to search them all. Hello, mystery man. Oh, there's gonna be a jump scare here. What's going on here? Beers. Keep your voice down. We're not alone. God, what have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh boy. We're dealing with cult shit now. We are deep into it. Oh. Well, that is pleasant. That is very pleasant. I I love this game. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I actually hate it. Excuse me. A mass grave. Oh, that's oh, I nearly fell right into that. I 
They got it. It can't breathe. What's what happening? Oh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Okay, okay. Found a way. Found a way. Found a way. Here's a way. Here's a way. Here's a way. Here's a way. Don't worry, Pierce. We got you. I got you, buddy. Yeah, this is very familiar. Is it... Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. You know, just with more people here than normal. No, that's definitely no. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I found the stagger in the tunnels under Hawkins Manor. Its owner left it behind when he went to the other hooded men. With the other hooded men. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I don't want to mess with that. That could be something important. What is this? Oh, it's just a... This is slightly dull. Ain't this familiar? Hello? You know, there it is kind of similar to his dream. There's just a few details that are different, like this area was definitely different, and really the closest thing we have here is like this tunnel right here and that door. Oh, and that door over there. I don't think I have a choice, do I? I can't read Latin. Okay, I guess it helped me with my progression at least. Maybe, okay, it was a good thing I didn't take, Jesus Christ, that would have been the end of me. Locked. Oh my goodness. Sitting in this, sitting in this chair long enough really does things to your butt. And by that, by that I mean it fucking hurts. Greetings, gentlemen. Something's gonna happen. Fucking with that. Locked. 
Cthulhu Leugner. Dude, I hate this place. Your El Cthulhu Kashag. Let his soul guide you to us, just as your dreams guided it to you. Your El Cthulhu Bogshag. Hey, hey, don't be talking about me, buddy. Let your dreamers. <gasps> I. I feel him. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. All oh, you who sleep, we pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. No thanks, no thanks. Okay. I remember the dream. I went around here and then bring me more sacred flesh. No, 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 thanks. It was somewhere here to the left. How did the dream go? What's up, buddies? Having good dreams? It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? What does this writing mean? Well, I thought that was like a weird infliction. No, it's just their robes. God damn. We are ready for the ceremony. <laughs> what about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going. I'm getting. I'm going. I'm gone. Ooh, we made it out alive. I bet you five dollars that Bradley's gonna shoot the guy and get and get me killed. Yep, there he is. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. Yep. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit. I knew it. Bradley's gonna shoot someone. Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate. Bradley, get Pursuit. back. Get back. You asked for it. Bradley, come on. What? In the mother of fuck? Charles, you shouldn't have seen this. Ah! Well, this is definitely familiar. No. No, no, run, run, Pierce, run. Caving in. I need to get out of here. Go, 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 go and 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 go
what was I supposed to do? It collapsed. Okay then, cool. Got this and that. Only one CP, that's sure gonna fucking do something. They're laid out on a frozen stone. One would say that they are dead, but their bodies do not decompose. Are they in some sort of coma? One thing is for sure, these men were subject to a type of treatment that changed their physical characteristics. I'm not sure where they could still be I'm not sure we can still call them men. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. I love how it always has that note as if we don't already know where the hell is the left. Get out of here. What the f camera shaky doesn't help at all. Oh, the left. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see what's going on. Ah. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool. Great. Fucking. Man, Daddy Dozy. I I screwed up, didn't I? Ah. My leg! <sighs> oh no. Well, this is. Oh. Oh. Uh, you doing alright there, buddy? Having a good rock nap? I mean, I've heard of dirt naps, but this is kinda. This is kinda weird, you know? Oh. Seems everyone's enjoying a nice boulder nap now. I mean, I've heard it's a new fad, honestly. I I don't really believe in it all that much. I mean, look at that. There's blood everywhere. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Light. At last. <laughs> ah! Too good to be true. Okay, cool. All right. Pierce and Officer Bradley follow the intruders of the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawken Manor. They witness a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer as he tried to escape from him. Pierce found himself a prisoner of a rockfall, rushed to the Riverside Institute. He's in a critical state. Ow! Interesting. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead for sure, aren't I? Oh, there's... What the... Well, there's Mrs. Hawkins and that other guy from the photo. He's having a seizure. He will survive. A strong research. What is happening? What the? F He's opening his eyes. The saving puller. I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. How are you alive? You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What is happening? What is going on? What happened to me? 
Where am I? Oh, interesting. <laughs> <coughs> this foul gas again. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No! No! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Oh. Well, um... You know what? How about I just end it off here? Just, like, take a break for the night and continue this off next week, because... Okay. Okay, um... Okay. Needless to say, I have a lot of questions. I have several questions, and I think it'd be best if we leave them off for next week, because I need to process what the fuck just happened. Also, sitting in this chair for this long is starting to hurt, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and just relax, take a breather, try and forget about that weird Cthulhu man monster thing. Okay. Well, I hope you all enjoy I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope to see you again next week, because, wow. Whew. That was a lot. Anyways, for now, bye. Have a good day.